Hello, and welcome to Rad System Studio. In this tutorial, we will walk through the steps to set up dynamic, dependent lookup controls in Rad System Studio, ensuring your web application meets both functional and user experience standards. So let's get started. Okay, so imagine you are developing an application where you need to manage employee records. Each employee belongs to a specific office location, and each office has its own set of departments. The goal is to set up the form so that when a user selects an office location, the departments associated with that office dynamically populate another select control. We'll use PHP Laravel for the back end, Bootstrap jQuery for the front end, and a MySQL database. I've given the link in the description to download the sample database containing dummy values to follow along with this tutorial. Once you download the school file, create a new database in your local host environment using any database management tool such as PHP MyAdmin, and simply import the downloaded SQL to create all the necessary tables with test data. Right? So now that we're ready with our database, let's create a new project in Rad Systems Studio. Open Rad Systems Studio and select PHP Laravel as the back end and Bootstrap jQuery as the front end. Click the Create Project button to proceed to the next step here. First, enter all the project details, such as project name and the folder location, to save the generated application and the icon set. Since we're using MySQL database for this test project, select the MySQL under Select Database section. Specify your local host MySQL credentials for your local host and select the database. Click the Create Project button and wait for Rad System Studio to read and load the database schema. Once done, we will first save the project and then publish the project to complete our initial project setup. Great, the project is now ready. Let's open the project URL in the browser to see how it looks right out of the box. Now here, we want to set up this office field to be a select control that loads all the office locations from the offices table. And then we will change the department field to select control, which will load all the departments that belong to the office selected by the user in the office field. Let's do it. Select the employees table from the list of tables. Select the add page for the employees table and then select the office underscore ID field and change its field type to select. In the control properties, select the select data source property and click the button with three dots to set the data source for our select field. Select data table option and then choose the offices table. Select office underscore ID as the value to be saved in the database and office underscore name as the label to be shown to the user in our HTML form. Set the sorting order to ascending ASC on office underscore name and click OK button. Now let's configure the department field as dynamic dependent lookup field. For that, select the department underscore ID field in the employees table. Change its field type to select. Click select data source and click the button with three dots. Again, make sure the data table option is selected and then set the database table settings as we did for the office field. Now, here's the magic. In the department field properties, choose the dynamic select lookup option. Once selected, additional options for lookup field for dynamic selection will appear on the same screen. The dependent field is the field in the form to read the value from, and the matched field is the field in the department's table to match the value with the value of dependent field. Basically, we're setting up a where condition in our select query, where the office ID in the department's table needs to be equal to the value of offices in HTML form. In this demo project, I will select office ID as the dependent field, and office ID from the department's table as the matched field. Finally, click OK to save the configuration and then click Save Project to save the project changes. That's it, we're done. Let's publish the project to see the result.
As you can see, the Office and the Department fields in the form are now changed to the Select field. And since we haven't selected any value in this field, the Department drop-down is empty. Let's select one office in the Office Select control. As you can see, all the departments for the selected office are fetched from the database and automatically loaded in the Department Select control. And that's it. We have successfully implemented the dynamic dependent lookup field. Rad Systems Studio's no-code approach not only simplifies development, but also enhances productivity by automating back-end integrations and front-end interactions. Download the fully functional 30-day trial version of Rad Systems Studio. Experience firsthand how it accelerates development cycles, empowers rapid prototyping, and enables seamless deployment of robust web applications. Until then, I'm Ruturaj signing off for now. See you in the next video.